That is a good shot. As good as any you'll see. Rahul Dravid is really in fine touch. Nothing fanciful, but perfect straight drive. Just out of the textbook, as you would see. Balance, outstanding. And that bat, perfectly straight. Gambhir on 48. Again, this time he's got hold of it. One bounce and out of the ground. Wonderful boundary. And 52 to Gambhir. Gets a pat on the back. An opportunity for him which he has really utilized so far. Does bring the crowd on its feet. But a fine way to get to your 50 after such a long layoff in the one-day game. But he sort of quickly latched on to that. Very quickly changes the weight and gets a hold of that one. He virtually pulls on the front foot. One really doesn't see too much of a back foot movement or the foot going back. Picks it up quickly. And there you are, giving thanks. He's got one well-settled batsman out of the middle, Gautam Dambir. Again, excellent footwork and placement. Every loose delivery he's put away to the boundary, Gambhir. And 100 comes up for India. 100 for three after 19. It's a quick outfield. Desperate dive there, but uh, ends up in a boundary. Again, the angle from around the stumps, the straight delivery. They played it very late, very, very late indeed to get the placement. Great effort in the deep. He's gone in the air and he's bisected the two fielders in the deep. What a lovely hit. Went with the turn, got four for it. It's 159 for three. This time it's in the air, but there's no fielder there. Top edging it over, it, over himself for four. Gambhir, not quite where he wanted to pull this one, but he's gotten away with it. Takes him to 98. But lucky here because it could have gone anywhere. But uh, fortunately for him, it went over the keeper's head. And unfortunately for Dilhara Fernando, it's a boundary against his name on the threshold of a wonderful ODI first hundred. He's got it. Gautam Gambhir punches the air. He deserves all the accolades because this has been a terrific innings. Well done. And the emergence with it of another youngster for India. A packed house and they appreciate it. There's no doubt it's been a top class innings. Nearly 50,000 crowd rise to their feet and isn't he a happy man he's been attacking from the outset but uh, when he needed that single he got a short delivery from Arnold pushes it and uh, that's three figures full innings this has been from young Gambhir Again, going straight. This is the fast outfield, and you get very good value for your shots. It's changing gears is Rahul Dravid. I think it was the slower delivery. We just watched the ball coming out. Not uh, really the bat fit closing uh, as he made contact. He's looking to hit it uh, more through the offside, but he'll take that. But wide of Sandakara, boundary to drive it. Runs will start to come quickly now. Indians have seven wickets in hand. And it 
seemed uh, intentional, but he, I don't think Dravid wanted it to go that fine. He's definitely looking to open the face of the blade, there's no doubt about that. Pyle's fourth wicket partnership for India versus Sri Lanka. Between these two, Gambhir and Dravid going past Jadeja and Amek Kurasa. And taken! Slower delivery! Farfiz Mahrub, the super sub, picks up a wicket. Mahrub and Atapattu, the catcher. But this has been a fantastic display of batsmanship. The crowd will rise on the feet. Yes, it needed a superb catch to end uh, a superb innings. It was well struck, but have a look at this catch. It's stuck. Diving to his left. The ball sticks in his left hand. So Sri Lanka get the break they wanted. And a standing ovation for...